Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nila. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an old subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to do a quick hairstyle that I always do um, whenever I need, I have no idea what to do with my hair. And I've got like really full, falsy hair. And sometimes I really don't have time to do a twist out, a braid out, or this hairstyle that takes a while to do, that takes a day to do. If I just need a quick hairstyle, and um, this is my go-to style. I can take it, um, I can go out with it, with this kind of hairstyle. I can um, go to work with it. I can go to a wedding with it. It's kind of like my quick hairstyle for when I don't have time or when I can't be bothered to do all this, you know style basically my go-to style so i'm gonna show you how i do that if you would like to see how i do that then keep on watching the first thing i do when i want to do hairstyle I, like this i co wash my hair you can wash your hair if you want with shampoo and then condition it but just make sure that your hair is well conditioned it's really really soft uh, for this hairstyle i usually co-wash my hair because i don't wash my hair with shampoo every week i wash my hair with shampoo once a month it's just the way i like to do things with my hair like i've done today and then put it in a t-shirt it, it, i usually leave it in the t-shirt for like five to ten minutes if you do, if i don't have time it will be five minutes uh if i have time it's ten minutes and then i will take it off the t-shirt and this is just not to dry completely this hairstyle will not dry in like 15 minutes uh, it's just to drain the excess water out of my hair as you can see there's no water dripping from my hair so as it is once i finish washing it so i will co-wash my hair and then put it in a, a light bun it's in a light bun at the moment and then put a t-shirt on it and then this will just drain the water and then i'm left with this damp hair like this so the first thing I do, I will take off the hair band for my hair. And this is what I've got on my hair. I, you, I'm usually quick with this, this step because um, you don't want, my hair usually shrinks. So you don't want your hair to shrink and then it will be difficult for you to get to the next step. So what I'll do, I'll take a moisturizer and it's the Missouri Shea Butter Leave-In Oil Moisturizer. Um, this is actually new to me. I've been just started using it and I'm actually loving it so I'm gonna put it on my hair I, I'm not really precise when it comes to moisturizing like I'm not gonna divide my hair into different parts to moisturize my hair so this moisturizer although I like it and it's good um, <laughs> it doesn't have a pleasant smell it has that you know those moisturizer back in the days that had those chemical Send to it that's what this moisturizer has got uh, next i take a brush like this this is like a a paddle brush um that i i use you can use a diamond brush but what i'll do is just use it just in front i don't usually use it all over my hair i don't tend to detangle my hair every day i only do it when i do my wash so now i'm gonna put it into a bun so now it's become quite difficult for my hair to go into a bun. Um, the reason is because I've left it out for too long uh, and then it's shrinking. So when your hair shrinks, it's a good thing, by the way. Um, I usually do all this stuff in the bathroom. I would shower, do the co-wash, and then um, I'd usually put the moisturizer in the, in the shower and then I'll put the t-shirt to kind of um, dry everything, uh, drain the water, the excess water, and then I'll just do the next step. But because I'm showing you how to do it, the step that I do in the bathroom, I, you, I will do it, I'm doing it here. So it's, it's kind of shrinking already, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then for the front, what I usually do, it take, it's take this hairbrush, which is actually dirty. My sister doesn't wash this thing. I'm taking this hairbrush. I'll recommend a bigger one, but the one that we have, the big one is disgusting right now. Let me 
needs to be cleaned. And my hair is clean at the moment. And I don't want to make it dirty. So I take the brush and I brush the hair all the way down. Like that. And then I brush the back as well. Don't forget the back. Like and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm taking the Eco Styler gel. Uh, this gel is actually the Claire Eco Styler gel. It is alcohol free and it's for all hair type. Um, it says no flake, no track, anti itch. Yeah, that's a lie. It actually flakes. Um, what I noticed with the Eco Styler, once you put it, once you put it, the next day do not pour another one just um, activate it by wetting your hair and doing it like smoothing it um, but do not do not put another one or else it's going to flake and after like a week you can see the flake showing it actually flakes so that theory of it not flaking that is not true so this one is maximum maximum hold of 10 this is the one that i love using in terms of um this gel this gel does not actually do anything to my baby hair so i don't even bother doing anything with my baby hair when it comes to this gel what this gel does is smooth my hair down really nice and once i apply the the the, the scarf my hair will look really really nice so i'm just going to show you how it does and you have to be quite generous with it use a lot of it in order for you to get the result that you want if you've got quite thin hair and loose curls you don't need to use a lot for but if you've got full C hair like me you would need to use a lot of it i'm just going to apply it all over and a lot of it i'm actually applying it in front and the middle I'm just applying whatever is left in the middle. I really pack the gel on my hair. In the past, I used to be, I used to apply only a little bit of it, and I realized that a little bit does not work on my hair. If I want my hair to be really slick and down, I have to apply a lot of it. And what's good about it is that Eco Styler is not expensive. And I've been using it for years, so it doesn't do any damage to my hair. The only thing it does is flakes it. And all you have to do is wash your hair with a nice shampoo. And then that will just take it away. And I'm going back to the brush. And I just want to make sure that it's all smoothed down. Like that. So with the next step, we're going to apply a scarf. So I'm up, I'm taking this scarf. Um, I'm actually, I'm not sure what kind of scarf this is, but a satin scarf will be good. But this scarf is really good because it smooths everything down. So you take a scarf like that and you apply it on your hair like that. Okay. And make sure it covers all the areas that has got the gel on it including the whatever baby hair you have there if you want a, if you want to have like a, a bun you can do a bun with this hairstyle if you want to leave it as a puff you will leave a puff as a hairstyle if you if you've been watching me for a long time you've seen these hairstyles on me several several times and another thing you can do as well is do a middle part with this hairstyle and you can have a middle part really nice and sleek or you can have a side part with this hairstyle nice and cute so i had to switch to a voiceover and once i've kept it for like 15 minutes i take off the scarf and here we have a sleek hairstyle and what i do in order for me to put it i can you can leave it as a puff if you want but i wanted it to be in i wanted my hair to be into a bun and i just style like that as a bun really easy and simple especially for an everyday hairstyle and i'm just brushing any flyaways down and you can add gel as well if you feel like you need more gel to it. Okay. 
that this is the finished look with the hair and let me know what you think um obviously about this hairstyle let me know what you think it's like a quick hairstyle i mean yeah. thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful let me know what you think about this kind of videos I, i'm trying to do more hair videos but i'm very very busy i don't have time to do my hair and like i said this is my go-to style hairstyle so uh i'm gonna try and do more hair videos for you i usually do more of a protective style leave my hair in a bun leave my hair tucked in uh, instead of a twist style and a braid out and this is how i've been able to retain um retain my hair and have less breakage is because of haven't been manipulating my hair that much so uh anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video take care bye